uh, I've been to Sundance a long time ago, and uh, that, this is a new experience because it's so different. Uh, what brings me here is a documentary called Who Needs Sleep? Um, the story is about how, um, how necessary sleep is and how when you're deprived of sleep, it uh, harms your health, safety. And I looked at it through the people in our business, which is called show business somewhere, where the average work day is 14, 16, 18 hours, sometimes 20 hours, with, slow, with short turnaround. So basically you have no life. You work and you sleep fast and then you try to work some more. A friend of mine was killed after driving home after his successive 17, 18 hour days. And what my film tries to challenge is um, that's not the way things should be and uh, that's not the way we want them to be. And how do you want them to be? Civilized. Wanted. Name tags? Or? Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Is that good? Okay. Great. My name is Deborah, and this is my daughter Ariel. My husband was Brent, who was working on a movie. 16 hours for four days, 19 hours the fifth day, fell asleep driving home and perished. Being in Park City and being with Haskell and his family and it's very, um, I'm very touched that, that he went to great lengths to do something for people in the industry and um, hopefully it does some good. I realize this is a national problem. The National, uh, the national Sleep Institute, the, these are not just like two or three hundred fringe groups. It's out there uh, and uh, more and more people realize. I, I think one thing, for example, sleep deprivation uh, creates obesity. You know, we hear a lot about values. Unless we work from basic values, all this becomes little arguments of, okay, we'll get, we, cameramen don't have to uh, be sleep deprived, you know? We're human beings. We have to live a life, we have to relate to each other, we have to guard our health as best we can, and we have to use our creativity in our life to make a life better for our families, and not just for our families, but for our communities and for the world. You can't help but feel nervous on the day of the birth, and so it's very exciting and it's, a, it's very meaningful. And because it's his personal story, too, it means a lot. So. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time. I'm really proud of him. He's a really special person. How do you think it went? Uh, I don't know. I, I think good. I'm so wound up myself that I, I, uh, I knew I was talking too much, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> Great job. Thank you.